We are currently locked down at the gas chamber at, the, at this pig slaughterhouse. Um, we're here to protest and draw attention to the horrific deaths of thousands of pigs. Um, we are locked down and we'll be shutting down this slaughterhouse for as long as we can. There's a reason we pay others to kill our animals for us. And there's a reason why the process is kept hidden. If people could see what really goes on inside a slaughterhouse, the world would have a lot more vegans. Activists around the world risk going to prison in order to reveal what the industry doesn't want you to know. And the activists you'll meet today risked everything to expose the horrific process of Australian pig slaughter. They entered the belly of the beast, locked themselves in the gas chamber, and shut down the slaughterhouse. Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan, and welcome to another vegan nugget. I have a video on my channel called The Nicest Way to Die, which shows what is heralded as the most humane method of slaughtering pigs. The footage is from slaughterhouses in Australia, but the method of carbon dioxide chamber stunning is employed worldwide. On the blog post for this video, I have a link to a PDF of a list of countries that have purchased gas chambers from the very same manufacturer. The activists you're about to meet are part of Animal Liberation Victoria, who, with Animal Liberation New South Wales, risked their freedom to obtain this undercover footage, and their safety when they climbed into the gas chambers to shut down the slaughterhouse and expose the latest humane lie. I had the honor of speaking with Kristen, who was part of the group on the outside of the slaughterhouse, and Tim, who was one of the activists chained inside the chamber itself. I will be showing behind the scenes footage, but nothing overtly graphic in this video. I highly encourage you to watch The Nicest Way to Die to see the truth that they risked so much to expose. Kristen first spoke to the genesis of this action. Paddy Mark, the founder of ALV, has been wanting to do a slaughterhouse action for quite a while. So she wanted to tie it in with, you know, the celebration that many people have in Australia of being Christmas, when obviously it's a time where there's a lot of, um, sadly, a lot of pigs on people's plates that time of year and try to draw that connection with people celebrating peace apparently with violence on their, on, on their table. Um, to shine a light on this idea of humane killing, um, the, these places, you know, they, they claim that they're humanely killing pigs and um, I don't know if you saw the footage but it clearly shows that, you know, they're being terrorised, that there's a lot of fear and suffering that goes on. Kristen described ALV's efforts to bring the hidden realities of what goes on inside the slaughterhouses into the public sphere. As part of the action, we had a PA system out the front with recording of the sounds from inside to try to make that connection. We obviously were hoping the mainstream media would use that sound, but sadly they didn't, which I guess isn't surprising for mainstream um, primetime TV. Um, it's just that that's how horrifying it is. So that was unfortunate, but we tried. We knew it needed to be as, um, to get as much coverage as we wanted was the lock on in the chamber. Um, I mean, otherwise it just would have been a few people on a roof and a, and a few people out in the street with banners, which we've seen is really the gas chamber. We, that needed to bring it all together and it was obviously the most risky um, how to how to get in there at what time to go in when when it's a 24 7 I mean the, the killing doesn't start until early morning but there's people there through the night deciding how best to do that was really difficult everything ran as so smoothly to plan that we were kind of all blown away ourselves it was quite mm -hmm. emotional mm -hmm. Yeah, we were kind of shocked. <laughs> I next asked Tim about his experience entering the gas chamber. Myself and, and three other people, Noah, Jonathan and Bonnie, we, we sort of locked on at the entrance to the chamber. So basically the point where the door opens, where the pigs are pushed into, and we locked on with, with chains and, and bicycle locks to, to some bars in the area. Being in that space and being at that, that entry point where, yeah, so many have, have gone through and, and that's where they die, like so many... And there's so much suffering at that point, so much terror. And also knowing that the, the pigs who were there in the pens, just knowing that that was, you know, going to happen to them as well, particularly as we walked out, seeing them all there and seeing the workers start to operate the machinery and, and start them moving. It was pretty hard to see all of that. I think it was around about four or five, five hours maybe in the end. And eventually the police um, cut the chains and they pulled us out of there. 
essentially uh, what it's doing is it's asphyxiating the pig so they, they start to panic because they can't breathe and then um, the carbon dioxide gas also when it gets into the sensitive uh, mucous membranes in the eyes, the nose, the throat, the lungs, when it sort of interacts with, with moisture it becomes carbonic acid so it starts to burn. Kristen shared how some of the police who were called to the slaughterhouse were visibly affected by the pigs' screams. We, we couldn't even tell all of the volunteers what was going on inside just, just to keep it super safe. So once they all arrived, we, we let them know there's four people locked in, in a gas chamber and they were, they were just blown away and obviously um, even more determined to make it a really effective action. The police moved in a few hours later. We were surprised it took them as long as it did. And they, they went in and removed the, the gas chamber team first. That was their first focus because obviously they were working for the slaughterhouse, sadly, to protect their business interests. Um, so they wanted to rem allow the slaughterhouse to get things running as quick as possible. They set a blockade that, that managed to push us away from the driveway. They slowly kept moving in on us. There was 50 police officers and there was probably only 50 activists, so it was quite intense. And they managed to slowly push us back. One moment that really sticks in my mind was when the second truck that pulled in uh, had this mural on the back that had these happy pigs and cows and chickens in a in a barn, you know, or in an idyllic sort of farm situation, and that really struck us all. Um, you know, really brought it home. Um, yeah, with the sun shining and the blue sky, and we knew what they were about to go into, so it was really quite quite awful. The police, it's it's that awful situation, isn't it? Part of you know they're just doing their job, and the other part of you knows that they're supporting the very thing we're all trying to end. That, I mean, like anyone, everyone's different. There's the police that, that didn't care while we were there and just wanted to get rid of us and get on with their day and there are others that were quite emotionally impacted and she was one of a few. She wasn't the only one. It was pretty much as the first truck came in and the reality of what she was supporting, I think must have just washed over her and, and really, um, yeah, came home to her that I, I had the impression she wanted to be with us, not where she was and she knew that we were, we were in the right. You can also notice in the video, the person next to her looks quite affected too. Um, I'm pretty sure he looks like under his sunglasses, he might even be crying as well. And there was also a moment where one of our team had the footage of what was going on inside and he was walking along the police line, showing each officer. A couple were just, you know, move on mate. And, and a couple were, you know, quite affected as well and were trying to hide their tears at that moment as well. So it was pretty powerful. Not only is this so-called humane method of CO2 stunning in actuality a horrifically painful death, but the agencies meant to regulate humane animal treatment routinely endorse facilities with abusive and deplorable conditions. The slaughterhouse we shut down, DVP, it's an RSPCA approved killing facility. A few days after the action, we were watching. We kept watching their website, and on the on the RSPCA website, it recommends gas chambers um, or carbon dioxide as you know the best stunning method, the most humane. On the DVP slaughterhouse website, it actually says RSPCA approved facility. About a few days after, maybe three days after the action, that line on their website from the slaughterhouse was removed. It just highlights another you know, the fraudulence of the whole system and the animal, the so-called animal protection agencies. As a final thought, Tim shared the message ALV hopes this action has for people who are already vegan. Part of, the, you know, um, the action that we did was to try and also motivate other people to get involved in direct action. You know, we'd love to have a hundred people locking on inside, you know, a killing factory to really send that message home. Again, I want to encourage you to watch the footage for yourself. You can see the nicest way to die linked below and in the sidebar, and visit pigtruth.com for more information about ALV's action. They continue ongoing investigations and open rescues. For help going vegan, see their sister site, veganeasy.org. My thanks to Kristen, Tim, and everyone at Animal Liberation Victoria and New South Wales for their activism and unrelenting work to speak for the animals. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what Kristen and Tim had to share in the comments below. 
Give the video a thumbs up and please share it around to expose the truth. If you're new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I put out fresh content covering all aspects of veganism every Monday, Wednesday, and some Fridays. To help support Bite Size Vegan's educational efforts, please see the support links below or click the Nugget Army icon or the link in the sidebar. Now go live vegan, speak up for the animals, and I'll see you soon. Lockdown, we're shutting this place down, this place of pig torture for as long as we can. Visit pigtruth.com. We're shutting this hellhole down for as long as we can.